And this weekend I decided to go to a car boot sale on Saturday as well as my regular Sunday. So here is what I got on the Saturday. Here is uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, but I opened it up to see what condition the disc was in, and oh, and it wasn't there. So I told the guy, like, could I have a spec, could I have the case, since you can't do anything with it. So he just gave that to me. I got a uh, Time Crisis Project Titan. It's got a cracked case, but luckily I have a spare case. So I'll probably be swapping them over later. But uh, that's complete with manual. Unfortunately it's the Platinum Edition, but still the game. Then um, I bought my friend a copy of Bangayo Spirits, but he only keeps the game and the manual. Oh, that's hard to open. So he gave me the empty case with the precautions booklet, so basically everything other than the game and manual. So if ever I, if I ever see a copy like going on its own, then I can put it in the box and have a box copy. Um, then I got Othello on Game Boy Original, and uh, it's a bit dirty, but it runs, so it's fine. I should be able to clean it up. And I also got that with a um, couple of tips books. I got a PSP cheats book and a Sega Force Tips Force book from July 1992. If I can just get to the page, so it's got loads of tips for this Master Mega Drive. I don't think it's got any Game Gear in there, I'm not sure about that. No, it's just Master System. Oh, it does have Game Gear. It's got loads of cheats in there. I love getting cheats books for old games because uh, they're the ones with the best cheats. And then I also got Grand Theft Auto 3. And I've been looking for the GTA games recently. Well, for a while, actually. And it's really hard to get them in good condition. But this one, other than a few scratches up there, which you can see there, um... This one's in really good condition, so I couldn't pass that up. And something I really wasn't expecting to see was a Gizmondo game, Richard Burns Rally. And this is actually factory sealed. The seal's in alright, it's got a sticker on it. It's got a small rip up there, and it's got some just like regular scratching on it from being on a shelf. But I got that for a pound, and... Uh, i just never seen Gizmondo anything before, so I thought I had to pick that up. I also got two PS2 memory cards, because uh, when I play games, I like to have just the, the save for one game on a memory card, and then keep it in there. And since I can get them for like 50p each, I got, I got these two 50p each, and I think that they're going to be going up in value soon anyway, so... Uh, might as well get as many as I can while they're still cheap. And I also got a Dreamcast Rumble Pack. And the last thing I got on this Saturday Carbon Salt, which I really wasn't expecting to see, was an N Joypad. And it came with two controllers, which were actually really nice controllers. They got really good buttons. It came with uh, two controllers and an AV cable. No power cable, but that's because it's battery powered. And uh, the discs are really interesting because they're plastic and uh, they, like, you can scratch them and it doesn't make any difference. Um, they're, not like reg oh, they're not like regular discs. Um, but the thing I've noticed is when you put it in, you'll close it and then turn it on. And if you open it up, it'll still be in exactly the same position. So I don't actually think it spins. I think it just uses, I don't even know what they are, three buttons there. But, uh, it works, it's got about 38-bit games. Um, some of them seem to be made um, specifically for the console, but lots of them are just rip-offs of 8-bit games, like there's a, a, balloon flight, a Balloon Fight clone, and a couple of other classic NES game clones. And I got that for the bargain price of a pound. But those are my pickups from Saturday. Then on Sunday, I got uh, a lot more stuff, really. 
and uh, something I've been wanting for a while. I've been playing on my 360. I've been trying to play original Xbox games, and I thought I'd play some of the Call of Duty games. And uh, the first one, you start off without a gun, and you have to run to this place, and then you pick up someone who's died, and you pick up their gun. And I was playing, and I got... It was only like two minutes into the game. I finally got to the bit where you pick up the gun, and as I pressed the pick up button, it froze. And I'm just getting sick of the crappy backwards compatibility the Xbox 360 has. So I have bought myself an Xbox. It's fairly good condition. It's got an annoying little white mark there, which appears to be a scratch that won't come out. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. But uh, overall, it's it's pretty good. It is actually boxed. Um, the box is a bit tatty. It's all right. It's got a ripped handle down there. Um, it came with the original like, information and booklets and things still sealed. And it came with one controller, a, uh, a SCART lead, oh, sorry, sorry, a SCART converter, and then the three AV cables, and the, uh, the power lead. And it also came with four games. Project Gotham Racing, which is complete. Commandos 2 Men of Courage, which looks to be a really good game. And this is in really nice condition. I didn't actually know this came out on the Xbox, I thought it was PS2 and PC only. But I suppose if it's a PC game, it's also an Xbox game. Uh, it's got a broken case down there, it doesn't close, but I can just swap that out. Uh, Call of Duty, big red one. I've already got this, but uh, it's in fairly pretty good condition, so um, I'll just get rid of the one that's not in as good condition. Um, and Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2005. And that cost me £20 overall, which is a little bit expensive. But uh, I, I've been looking for an Xbox for a while. I haven't been able to find one that's like, with games and all the leads and clean um, that's under £25. So it was, it was a pretty good deal. Next up, after, just after I bought the Xbox, I went over to the person that I was at the car boot sale with, and he said to me, do you want a game key for £5? So I said yes, and uh, he turned round and then said, too late, it's gone, because as I said yes, someone else was buying it. But uh, I went over to them afterwards, and I found out what games they got with it, and I was quite keen to, to get one of them, so I asked if he would sell the game key on to me straight away. And he said yes, and uh, he charged me ten pounds. So he made five pounds like straight away. But um, I suppose it was worth it. Just a little bit annoyed that I could have got it for half the price. But so I got the uh, the GameCube. It's got a bit of glue on it here. And then I'll show you the games. First up, we have the uh, probably the worst of the bunch, which is uh, Player's Choice version of uh, Everything or Nothing. Unfortunately, uh, when I got it, the artwork has slid down and it had rained that day so pretty much the bottom of the artwork is really damaged and even like there it's actually ripped off but uh, it's all right condition it's, it's quite scratched it looks like it'll work but it is quite scratched next up is Nightfire which uh, same really with the disc it looks like it'll work but it is quite scratched uh, Medal of Honor Frontline and uh, this is really quite scratched. I mean, look at that, it's, it's horrendous. And even worse than that, someone's covered in the R, uh, which is a bit pointless. Surely you could use something that isn't my manual to write on. And uh, the game I actually wanted, that I was quite annoyed I didn't manage to get, was Resident Evil Zero, which is completely manual. doesn't have the Nintendo uh, VIP slip. But it's got both discs, and they're both in pretty good condition. I mean, there's like not really many scratches. There's, there's a couple, and they're really faint, but it is good condition, I'd say. And it came with a uh, a power pack, the uh, AV cables, a 
uh, a SCART with S video uh, adapter and a 64 megabyte GameCube memory card. I was a bit annoyed because I heard there's a memory card in it, but I didn't know it wasn't official, so I felt a bit robbed.